What is going on, world of the internet? It is Mike the Viking, and we are going to be starting our TFT adventure. We have been climbing TFT ladders for years, season after season after season, uh, and I've been playing so many different games over the last 1,200 plus days that I decided to make a few separate YouTube channels. We're going to be having a YouTube channel for our regular content, me posting just typical vlog videos, cat videos of Tony and Stella, animal videos of the zoo we've got here, um, and anything else that I may find interesting. Our second channel is going to be our Mike the Viking Reacts channel, which we haven't actually started yet. Um, I'm going to have my editor send me content, and we're going to be looking at those kind uh, of videos that I haven't seen before, and you get a genuine reaction, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, the third channel is Mike the Viking High Highlights, and now that is being completely taken over by Boonica, our editor, uh, and he is running that whole channel, and he's posting as much content as we can on there. And then lastly, and the most important here for you guys watching this video, is our TFT YouTube channel. Um, TFT is basically going to be the majority of the content. Probably 90% of our channel will be TFT, or content will be TFT on that channel. The other 10% will be Summoners, Rift Games, ARAMs, um, the, the game mode of the season kind of deal, right? Um, but with all that being said, we're going to be climbing our way to Masters this next season. I hope you guys are excited as I am. Uh, this past season, we were pushing to Diamond. We still have about a month to get there. Um, it's been very difficult. I'm not going to lie, I've had a very difficult time. Not because of the games I've been playing, but the time I need to invest into the game to make it to that uh, ranking. But we'll get there nonetheless. Anyways, long intro. Sorry to keep you snoozing. That's going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video that uh, Street has put together for you guys. Uh, Street will be doing all of our TFT content, League of Legends content, ARAM, Summoners, etc. Anything Riot Games related. So if you guys are watching this League of Legends or TFT or a whatever Valorant video and you want something specifically added into the next video, comment below because Street will read those comments and he'll add that into the next videos for you. Anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh. Really close to platinum three. If I just keep playing super mascots. I'm gonna go for the poppy. Or Lulu, sorry. Tier Lulu sounds good. <clears throat> I don't think there's a... Well, I'll hold Ramus. Ramus could give us some stuff here. Just turn it down a little bit more. I don't think I'm going to get any more. I had to sell the Lulu, unfortunately. I was just saying to myself, I'm like, I'm not going to get the goal, but we did. Back to some TFT. Hey, what's going on, brother? <clears throat> Sorry, I, uh, I I play a little bit of League because it just gives... If I'm if I Actually, I didn't even play shit. I played really good today. But I was going to say, if I play shit on TFT, I usually hop onto League. But that was not the case today. More gold? Oh... Fuck! Look at who's calling me. <clears throat> well, well. Nope. Oh, I missed his call. <clears throat> Damn it, I didn't get to do the well well. <clears throat> um, a specialty soda place opened across the street and they make a butter beer. Half cream soda, half Barks root beer. Few shots of butterscotch syrup, 
caramel syrup and a shot of vanilla cream. Damn. That is quite the drink by the sounds of it. This is This is all royalty free. Wow. Interesting. It's amazing. We drank a ton of them on the Hogwarts when the Hogwarts game came out. Oh shit, you played uh Hogwarts Legacy? I got like I pl I plugged in like 50 hours in 7 days basically. It was disgusting. I took work off and everything. Oh my pop! My Lulu just needed to ult! <laughs> Gonna take the bow because he needs less whisper. Oh, that's such a nice little find there. I'm going to find a crypt piece, so I'm just going to put that on him. Uh, our library gets all the latest games, comic books, Blu-rays. In 2023, if your library is not adapting, it will be underused, lose funding, and eventually close. Exactly. 100%. Our library gets all the latest games, comic books, Blu-rays. I fucking love the sounds of that. That's really sick, actually. Our public library even hosts D and D games, Magic the Gathering. What? That's amazing. That's a great idea. Oh my god. I love that idea. I fucking love Magic the Gathering, dude. I need to go back. Ah. Uh, I used to go to Friday Night Magic in town, but the the thing is, the library that is in Sarnia, I feel like it's totally underused. And it definitely seems like it might close. Ow, look at this duelist pike. If city governments want su stuff like, like. Yeah, that's 100% accurate. I will not disagree with you on that. That's fair. That's a good idea. I used to do that though. We had that in like towns here in Canada where you could just go to like block but well, it's not Blockbuster anymore, but it was like a similar thing, like Blockbuster but instead of DV DVDs and stuff, it was like games. Um and I would definitely rent my fair share of games for sure. I don't know if I want this lease in. When new comic books come out and I want to read it, I just go to the library for 20 minutes and read it. It's pretty sick. I'm going to go for this. Do I level here? Let's do it. We should win with this. We got perfect items for uh, our dude here. This actually works super well. <clears throat> level 8. This is my level 8, okay? Nunu for the 5 Gadgetine. And Echo for the 4 Prankster. So I have 5 Gadgetine, 4 Prankster, 2 Oxforce, 2 Aegis. 
two mascot, and then we put like Syndra in, right? And then Syndra gives us heart, but also it gives us more stuff to like throw in. Nice, we actually won. That puts us at 50 econ. <clears throat> Saves me a few thousand per year. No, absolutely it would. Absolutely it would. That was actually stupid of me to put it on him. I don't want him to taunt, but we weren't going to beat this guy. <clears throat> oh, that should have went through him. I'm going to... Oh, yeah, I, I want the sword now. Uh... Yeah. Gotta go fire up the smoker to make some ribs. Mmm. Always liked Annie. She's pretty tough. Yeah, I was thinking of putting it on Annie. I should have put it on Annie. Um, yeah, you go do that, sir. I will be here most likely when you get back. Okay, we'll throw this on you. Put this on you. I like my, I like my positioning now. Oh, do I though? I don't think I do. It's not good. The nice thing is we may... No, we don't. I was going to say we may get the Renekton. If, if Jinx ulted, we may have got him. But that's okay. It's a close game. Lowest is 11 points below me. Highest is 22. We don't have to pre-level into wolves for level 7, it's not a big deal here. Ooh. Wow, my team stopped this guy dead in his tracks. <clears throat> that was nice, that was nice. Was shit, but I'll actually do this. Could be good for now. Yeah, Leeson will give uh, Spell Slinger, which I guess is okay. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. That's great. We're going to roll here. Why is there black bars at the top and bottom? Oh. I'm not sure what that is. But we want to stretch the screen. There we go. Uh, that was a good question. I want the other new now. There it is. Now I just like win the game here. Five gadgetine, they see me rolling new new. Mascot, prankster.
Wow, we're looking real nice. Uh, thank you for letting me know about that, though. By the way, brother, I need the, I need that heads up. Oh, I forgot to put this on her. I just win this game. This is a first. Death by Nunu is almost as good as Death by by Snoo Snoo. <laughs> Why is Snoo Snoo? Death by Nunu is almost as good as Death by Snoo Snoo. I like that word, Snoo Snoo. What is Snoo Snoo? Is that the name of the new company we're gonna make? Snoo Snoo. Snoo Snoo Spices, made by your sh Mr. I like pizza a lot. <laughs> oh baby. My tank is a one star. Oh, is that what it is on Futurama, the Amazonian woman? Oh, oh, did not know. I guess you could say Death by Nunu is almost, almost as good as Death by Snoo. So that's correct. Yep. Now that I know the uh, the origins of that, yes, you're right. Oh my! I need Aegis. The guy gets sentenced to death by Snoo Snoo and at first freak out. Then they find out it's death by sex and are into it. Oh. I mean, might as well be. I'm gonna go with this. That way I can go. Uh, maybe Thief's Gloves Alistar. What do you think? Thief's Gloves on Alistar and then the. the yeah, the gadgetine items need to go on Nunu. Perfect. Those are perfect gadgetine items for Nunu. I don't have another Lulu. I thought I had another Lulu. Ew, that's gross. This Lulu makes me feel gross. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. We, we're one Nara away as well. I definitely need to go, um, whatchamacallit. I need to get to level 8 here shortly. Yep, get some new buds tomorrow, and then some other new buds be ready next week. Wait, what? You know what? Should I greed? No, I'm not going to greed. No need to greed. Can order the buds ahead of time and get them when they're done drying and curing. Are you talking about Kush? <laughs> okay. So. What do you do? You buy. Because, like, I just go to the dispensary. Oh my, am I actually dead? Wow, that sucks. I just go to the dispensary and buy like an ounce for like a hundred plus bucks, hundred bucks maybe. You sign up for the newsletter and then you purchase ahead of time before it restocks, then just show up and get it. I suppose, yeah. Uh, there's like a dispensary like every corner, it's crazy. Where I live, like, every corner has, like, a dispensary. You walk in, it's like a fucking museum of weed, and you just buy whatever you want. Um, so whenever I'm, like, low or getting close to running out, I always just, uh... Come on. Wow, this is depressing. There we go. Give me the jinx. There we go. Alright, we have to level to 8 now. That saves time and guarantees I get what I want from the shop, and if you do not pre-order, they might sell before you get there. The line is going to be long. What? Oh, if you order online, there's never a way. If you don't pre-order and go... 
I'm a weird shopper. I go in and I just say to them, I, like, as soon as I walk into the dispensary, the guys know me there. I'm there, like, every other day, every three days or so. Um, give me one second. All right, we crushed that one. So now, yeah, like we say, we're just going to level. I'm going to give him war logs. I'm gonna give this. Where I go is super busy all day, every day. If you don't pre-order, this weight sucks. Oh, really? I guess I'm lucky. Yeah. Yeah, I go in. I've never, I've never had to wait. I walk in, walk out, walk in, walk out. Every time, no matter what. But sometimes they don't have like the strain I'm looking for. But literally, when I walk in, I go to the guys. I'm like, hey guys. I'm like, what? Are, what's the highest THC? What's the highest terps we got this week? Highest THC and highest terpenes. You, you, the terpenes are the most important. Like I, people don't really understand that the terpenes, a high percentage of terps is what's going to get you off the rocker. Um, I always people are like, oh, 28%, 30% THC. That's not even high. I do like 38, 39% THC with like 4% terps. Like I am getting myself to a point of like <laughs> every time. I get myself like just fucking fried all day. I actually say to my mom all the time, I'm like, I don't even know if I'm getting high anymore. Like, truthfully. I just don't know. And she says that to me too. Like, I smoke every time I'm gone. I'm smoking. Like, if you don't see me sitting in this chair, you can bet, you could most likely bet your life savings that I'm in the car smoking a bowl. I just like sitting in my car, listening to music, smoking a bowl or two or three or four. I catch myself on TikTok and smoke another bowl, five bowls, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm streaming. Then I come back out. It's sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. That's why all these bongs up there. <laughs> all on the shelf up there. What? There are hundreds of cannabinoids that all contribute to the high and the medical benefits. The terpenes are also a huge part, and if you eat other foods that have a lot of terpenes, and enhance the effect. I don't eat too much edibles. That's something that I've always kind of wanted to dabble into a little bit more. Um, I used to be a delivery driver for a company called King's Chronic before it was uh, on Weed Maps, before they took out all the non-legalized cannabis companies that were trying to do like the sales online. And I, uh, I want to put this on Sintra, but I'll put it on her for now because I can remove. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, so yeah, my, uh, my dealer would always get from his supplier, like nasty edibles, nasty in a good way, like super sick. I would do shroom edibles. I do weed edibles, just like the craziest shit. And it was so good. And the flavor, like I was the guy, cause I was the sweets dude. I always ate candy. If you came into my car and we'd smoke a bowl or we'd smoke a joint, like I always go and smoke a joint with my guy. Um, I'd meet up, I get the product and then I'd go help. Uh, and I wouldn't even like sell it. I would just hold it. And then every like hour, hour and a half, he'd message me with an address to go drop off like a quarter, you know, whatever. Um, we'll put this on Nunu. So, uh, I was like heavily involved in that life, like super heavily involved in that life. And I, um, one sec, this should be fine. I, um, I loved, I loved the fact that I got to do all like the, the tasting of the edibles and I just like, I don't know. I would eat them like candy. It's like, and then all of a sudden, I'd like, in 40 minutes later, I'd be like, oh, bro, like, what's going on? I'm like, let's like, game a little bit. But at the end of the day, I, uh, I just, enjoy, I don't know what it is about the smoking of it. Because truthfully, I think I get more high when I, in, in, uh, when I digest it. If you eat a mango, if you eat a mango, he just got a three-star Annie just for the sake of it. That's annoying. All right, well, we definitely have to level now and put in our four prankster. There he is. 
Look at that. Let's go! We took out first place. I may have a chance. Oh. I might be able to do this. Yeah, he just eats me alive. I'll take second place. Two second places back to back today. I'm so annoying. As soon as Twisted Fate ults, he kills two of my guys minimum. Can't, you can't beat it. You can't beat the three-star Twisted Fate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't do it for you guys. But what I did do today is I went from plat zero, plat four zero P to platinum three.